Welcome to your astrological forecast for July 22nd through July 29th. And welcome to the fucking ascension. You know, for those of y'all that weren't already here. So before we get into all the astrology shit, have you been having some headaches? Have you kind of felt run down? Have you felt like shit? You just feel this weird sense of shit happening that you don't know what it is and you can't explain it to anybody else because you feel super fucking crazy and you know that there's not enough grippy socks in the world for you to tell everybody exactly what's going on in here in here and in here and in your gut. Welcome and welcome to Leo season. We had this Capricorn full moon that was at the 29th degree of Capricorn, Capricorn 30, which was all about some secretive shit happening with the people that govern our world. And now we are full on in drama, llama, mama, lion season. I am not sure how I said all of that without fucking it up. You're welcome. Yeah. So we have four big O things this week. You ready? Number one. I'm going to pull my own hair. It is Leo season. Number two, Mercury enters Virgo. Number three, old Chiron goes into fucking retrograde. Which chances are you're already feeling that shit. And number four, we have the last quarter moon. So first of all, today, the 22nd, it is full on Leo season, which means all the drama. Be ready to full on embrace what it is that sets you apart from everybody else. This means that it's a great time to pull out all of those hobbies that have been collecting dust back there. All of those hidden talents that you've been, you know, kind of hiding from everybody. Or apparently your motorcycle while I'm trying to film a fucking video. The problem is that you're also going to have to watch out for other drama from all the other peepholes out there. Now, Monday into Tuesday, today into tomorrow, the whole aspect of Pluto is going to make you feel a little discombobulated. You're going to be ready to kind of hide away in your house and hermit. And then after that, oh my God, all of the gods need to help everybody because we're all on our bullshit. So these first two days is a great day to look at some like self-reflection, what's been going wrong, what's been going right, where you actually want to go, where you've been, all the things. You got a couple days to prepare, but on the 25th, Mercury enters Virgo. Why I felt I needed to say it that way, I have no idea. Remember how I just said that you're going to have to watch out for some drama llama mamas out there? Oh yeah, the 25th is going to be a big day for it. And really, as Mercury is in Virgo. Because this is a time where you ain't mincing words and neither is anyone else. Get ready to hear some of the greatest insults you have ever heard in your life, but also get ready to hear a lot of shit coming out of everybody's mouth holes all over everywhere. Social media, the news, just in the streets, in your own brain, all the things. In other words, we're all putting two and two together and it ain't equal in four. This is also a great week to kickstart productivity. So if you feel like you haven't been as productive lately, <clears throat> feel a little called out by my own self right there. but I digress if you feel like you haven't been super productive lately guess what this week that ramps up into like the highest of the high gear that you didn't even know was there then literally the next day Chiron full-on enters retrograde or if you live in Oklahoma Chiron Chiron it goes into all the microwaves so this is interesting because this is a five-month retrograde so for those of you guys that don't know what this placement is, this is a comet, minor planet aspect that has a very interesting history. It's actually named after a centaur in Greek mythology who was an amazing healer, but couldn't heal himself. So remember at the beginning of this when I said welcome to the ascension, if you weren't already here and some of you guys kind of rolled your eyes a little bit, <laughs> welcome. Because this highlights all of the areas of your life that have been the most difficult. And with it going into retrograde, guess what? It means you're ready to fix the shit. This is a time for accountability. This is a time for self-reflection. It is a fantastical time for you to put things into place to help with your spiritual, mental, emotional well-being. And probably be physical too. This is a time to cut out unresolved issues, fix shit, and move on. Oh my God, my little babies are growing up. Y'all are getting so big. Y'all are working through so much shit. It has sucked, hasn't it? But guess what? This 
this next five months is a great time to fucking fix it. I want you to full on note there that I said five months. That's till the end of the fucking year. And what is going to happen later on this year? I'm just saying what I'm saying. Plus all this fun shit with Pluto. Plus all this fun shit with Saturn. Plus all this fun shit politically. <laughs> I've got my popcorn. How about you? But I digress. And then the next day, on the 27th, we have the last quarter moon. And air mirror gear, duh. This is a time for reflection. Assessing where you are. Forgiveness. And oh my God. Letting shit go. So your whole week, astrologically, is going to be all about you realizing how goddamn fucking fantastical you actually are. That was a lot of curse words I'm going to have to bleep out down there. It's also going to be a week of you getting past shit that has been holding you back. You getting past all of those words, all of those actions, all of those things from somebody else all that long time ago that you've been holding on to. Baby, let go of all that shit that you've been shouldering because no one else gives a shit. No one else is shouldering this but you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I won't sing. I'm sorry, but you guys all know that you were thinking it. And you've got a few weeks to prepare before we have Mercury in the microwave. So you're all good. Let all the shit go. So this next microwave Rachel grade Gatorade won't fuck you up as bad as it has been in the past. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. I am not refilming that. So there you go. There is your astrological forecast for the 22nd to the 29th of July.